Today, we are gonna be going over my favorite vegan products because honestly, when you're a level one vegan, it can be hard to find vegan, cruelty-free products that are actually good because honestly, some vegan products they kind of suck. First, let's go over my absolute favorites and I'll explain a little bit about each one and why I like them. And then we'll go into a quick fire round where I go over other categories like clothing and food. A quick disclaimer though, let's get over the myth that men can't and shouldn't take care of their skin and bodies because there's absolutely nothing macho about turning 40 but yeah. looking like Emperor Palpatine, okay? All right, let's get wet and sudsy. Let's start off in the shower. I think my favorite product when it comes to hair care, so shampoo and conditioning is Puracy. So Puracy is all natural, all vegan, all cruelty free, and they're really, really good. I've used them for about a year now. As an alternative to this one though, there is also a company called Giovanni that is also completely vegan, and that one's a little bit more expensive. Now when it comes to body wash or the soap that I use in the shower, I've used a lot of different ones over the last couple of years, but recently, just in like the last two months, I think, I started using Dr. Bronner's. So I always saw this and I never really tried it out. And it always looked kind of weird to me because on the package it says like, you can use Dr. Bronner's for anything. You can like, you know, wash your body with it. You can brush your teeth with it. You can wash your dog with it. You can, you know, clean your vegetables with it. You can, you know, build a house with it. You can fly into rainbows with it. You can do anything with Dr. Bronner's. So I always kind of, you know, steered away from Dr. Bronner's, but I finally tried it and I use it now religiously as my body uh, wash. So I just put it on like a big sponge, kind of squeeze it up until it suds up. And then I just use that. And it's insane. Like, I don't, I don't know how this company's making any money because the bottle that it comes in, I've only used like one fifteenth of the bottle because you use so little and it makes a ton of soap. So it's a really good value, but it's also really nice. It has like this really minty feeling to it. So like after you wash your body is like, it feels really cool. And it's kind of weird, especially on like your special spots. So it feels a little weird the first couple of times, but if you like that minty feeling, that menthol feeling on your body, I really, really like Dr. Bronner's. All right, my body's all clean. I don't know about you guys, but I sweat a lot and I kind of have some stinky sweat. So it's really important for me to have a really good deodorant. And I've tried a lot of different vegan deodorants and I have to admit, not all of them are that great. A lot of them kind of suck. A lot of times I'll be like walking around in the middle of the day and I'll be smelling something kind of rank and then I realize it's me. So I've gone through a bunch of different ones. My favorite one is is native and you guys have seen me talk about this on the channel before they have a bunch of different flavors but the one I think I like the most is peppermint and it's really solid for me just because it's just like any other deodorant that I've used before I was vegan it covers really well it smells nice throughout the day I can just still tell that I have deodorant on I don't like smell through it so yeah that's my favorite deodorant by far all right now let's talk skincare I think a lot of guys especially kind of neglect skincare and I, I feel like when you're younger it's really easy to neglect skincare because you just don't care for me I never really cared about skincare until I started getting acne, but even then I was just trying to get rid of the acne. I wasn't worried about like the quality of my skin. But about two years ago, I started using this brand and it's called Banish. You guys have probably heard me talk about this before on the channel, but about a year into using them, I actually teamed up with them and became an ambassador on the team. Banish is super fire because they're 100% vegan. They're hundred percent natural, which I think is really cool. And they're cruelty free. And they also make everything in small batches each week. So anytime you're purchasing for something from them, the longest it's been made is one week. So everything is still active in there. Now they have a lot of products on their site. Kind of the easiest, simplest way to go is just get the starters kit. And then from there, you can kind of branch out and see what products you want to use. But it really depends on what you want to do with your skin. For me specifically, I've had really bad acne in the past. If you don't know, like crazy, like I'll show you, like I got really, really bad cystic acne and it did leave some scars on my face, especially like my cheeks and my temple area. I have like these rolling and boxcar scars. I still have them, but I've been able to improve them really good. Over the past like year and a half, two years of using Banish, I would say that my acne scars have improved probably about 30 to 40 percent which is pretty solid for an at-home uh, skincare line every single day i use the vitamin c cream that is their moisturizer it has high quality vitamin c vitamin c has been shown to improve all sorts of things in the body but it helps to stimulate elastin and collagen regrowth which is really good for the quality of your skin it also helps with erythema like redness inflammation so that your face is not as red throughout the day especially if you have acne or dealt with acne in the past i use that every single day and then probably Probably twice a week, I'll use the pumpkin enzyme mask, which is a glycolic acid chemical peel. So just like what you would get at a professional treatment, except it's at home and glycolic acid also has these crazy studies that have shown huge improvements in people's 
active acne, but then also with acne scarring, they've done a ton of tests where they show before and afters of people using it for 12 weeks and you can see significant improvements. So for me, that's like my religious, like I always use glycolic acid once or twice a week and then I use vitamin C every single day and then probably once a week, sometimes twice a week if I'm being on point, sometimes I fall off with my skincare routine, but I'll use their Banisher 2.0, which is basically just a derma stamp. You probably heard of this before. There's things like derma pens that are professional treatments, same kind of idea. It's a bunch of fine point needles that you're just poking into your face and you're doing it all over your problem areas. And basically that just stimulates collagen and elastin regrowth, which is again what's going to make your skin not only come back to an even surface if you have texturing or acne scarring but it also is good just for overall skin health and it keeps you from aging as quickly so like those fine lines and wrinkles don't come as quickly right after i use this then i use the banish oil every single time because that's 99.9 percent .9 pure medical grade vitamin c and again vitamin c is super good for your skin and when you've opened up your skin because you have those channels that you've basically poked in your face the vitamin c can penetrate deeper into your skin and not just get on top of the epidermis, but get a little deeper and can penetrate and be more effective. My other favorite product from them that I use every single day is after my workouts, I'll immediately go shower. For me, that's really important because I am prone to acne. So I try to get like the dirt and sweat off my face as soon as possible. So when I'm in the shower, I use their all clear mint cleanser. I feel like it's really good to use a cleanser to pull off that dirt and stuff off your face, but it's also really important not to have one that's super harsh that doesn't have like essential oils or anything that's really going to inflame your face because that causes acne. And so for me, it's a really mild cleanser. I really like it and I use that in the shower. Then I come out of the shower and throw the vitamin C cream on as a moisturizer. So those are my favorite products from them. They also have a bunch of other ones which are super fire too. So you can like look through their site and figure out like what you wanna get. Of course, I do have a code. It is Brian5. I'll get you $5 off of an order of 50 or more. And I also have a link. It's banishbrian.com. I'll put all that stuff in the description below. You're definitely not gonna be disappointed. Super fire stuff or I wouldn't talk about it. All right, now going along that same kind of vein of talking about skincare, it is super important to use sunblocks straight up you should be doing this even if you're not going outside like even right now i'm facing a window and uva and uvb rays are hitting my skin so the american academy of dermatology says that 30 spf or higher is needed for you to get basically all the effects of what you're trying to do anti-aging anti-wrinkling basically keeping your skin as youthful and as vital as you possibly can so 30 spf is important i really struggle to find a good sunblock for my face because you want one that's non-comedogenic which means it doesn't clog your pores, which causes acne. And you want one that doesn't have fragrances and a bunch of weird stuff in it. So the one I finally found that I really like is called Andalou. And Andalou, 100% vegan. I think they make like a 16 SPF. And they also make a 30 SPF one. That's the one you want to get. That is really good for your face. Dermatology approved, dermatologist approved. So also I want to add for a body sunblock, it's a little bit less important for it to be like super non-comedogenic and super sensitive skin friendly and all that kind of stuff. But Pacifica is a really, really solid brand, 100% natural and vegan uh, body spray sunblock. Also comes in 30 SPF, and that's the one I'll use for my body. Okay, now rounding up this favorites section, because we're talking about health and beauty, it's also important to take care of your insides as well as the products that you use on the outside. So I use for supplements, Vivo Life. And people always ask, what supplements do you use? What company do you use? Vivo Life is the bomb. You definitely have the highest quality supplements in the vegan industry. And specifically, the ones that I will use every single day. I'll use the Thrive's Green Powder every single day, or I'll use their Multi, which they haven't quite come out in America yet. They're testing it. But I'll use one of those two so that I kind of have like an insurance policy of hitting my vitamins and my minerals. I feel like that's really helpful for vegans, but also just people in general, because while we all want to eat the perfect diet every day, let's not lie, a lot of us don't. At the end of the day, we are full, but we don't have the vitamins and minerals that we should have gotten. So I like an insurance policy, which brings me also to their omega-3s, their B12, and their vitamin D. Sure, you can hit all those things naturally by eating them in your diet, getting out in the sun, all that kind of stuff. But again, let's not lie, we're not perfect. So for me, it makes me more comfortable to have those things just covered by default. And if I get those vitamins in, in my and minerals in my own diet, I'm stoked. I just went overboard, but I would rather get them than not get them. So continuing talking about the ones that I use daily, I also use their protein powder every single day. So they have Perform, which has adaptogenic mushrooms in the protein powder. And then they also have Ritual, which is a more affordable version that doesn't have the adaptogenic mushrooms in them. I'll use that 
probably twice a day. So I'll use it once for a smoothie before the gym. After the gym, I'll usually have just like a quick shake with like water or some like ripple milk just to get more protein in. So along with one of those scoops of protein, I'll also use one serving of creatine. And Vivo has this really nice creatine that's micronized, so it mixes really well. And again, I don't know, a lot of people have their different feelings about creatine. I've used it for a really long time. I think it's completely fine. For me personally, I've never seen any bad side effects. Some people will, will like kind of say that it has hormonal issues or will cause, cause balding and all this stuff. I don't think that any of that is substantiated in any studies. Creatine is a really solid supplement. I won't go over the whole thing what creatine does, but basically it just helps you to add a little bit of extra fuel by adding creatine phosphate into your muscles that your body can then break down into adenosine triphosphate while you're working out. Boring science stuff, but basically you get like an extra rep or two out of some of your sets in your gym workouts. Uh, again, I do have a code and a link for this one. So Brian10 will get you 10% off. You can go to vivolifebrian.com, help support this channel. I'll put a link in the description below for those supplements. Okay, so now we've talked about my absolute absolute freaking favorites. Let's just go through the quick fire round so I can get a couple more things out that I just really want to put in this video without wasting too much time talking about each one individually. Let's talk hairstyling product. I don't personally use hairstyling product a lot, but if I'm going to go to like a banquet or a ball, or I'm going to try to look fly and fancy at a wedding or something like that, I'll use some hairstyling products. The ones that I really like that are vegan, Giovanni. They have a couple different types. They have some styling gel. That's the one I like the most. Earlier, I talked about facial moisturizers, talked about sunblocks, all that kind of stuff. But what about body moisturizers? It's super important. You should use them. One of the ones I really like and I use all the time is Hemp's with a Z. It's a really solid one. I always moisturize my body when I'm on point with my skincare routine, and you should too, but I should probably get more on point with it. Let's talk toothpaste. I've had a lot of problems with vegan toothpastes in the past. I, I, I don't know, like some charcoal toothpaste and stuff. I just feel like my mouth isn't really that clean. I know everyone's got their own opinion on this, so roast me in the comments. Let me know what your favorite vegan toothpaste is, but the one that I really like is Schmitz. Schmitz has a really good minty kind of flavor. It makes my mouth feel fresh. I like Schmitz. Okay, I know this video kind of focused on skin, health, beauty, all that kind of stuff, but I do want to just throw these in here because it's important to me. My favorite vegan cheese. Ready for this? Veo Life. Okay, I know there's like a hundred different cheese brands at this point and everyone's got their favorite. So tell me what your favorite is in the comments below. But I think Veo Life is amazing because it actually melts. It stretches for pizzas. It's amazing for nacho cheese. It's amazing. I think Veo Life is by far the best cheese and it should just like punch Dea in the face and get it out of the markets because non-vegans shouldn't be trying Dea as their first cheese. They should be trying something better and I think Veal Life is the best. All right, vegan protein bars. There's a lot more on the market. There's some really fire ones. I actually just had one that was really good the other day from a company called Aloha, but my favorite vegan protein bar of all time on the market is No Cow Bars. I really specifically like their chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. They also have a birthday cake flavor that's really good. It has like little rainbow sprinkles in it and stuff, but it's vegan, got a ton of protein, and the macros are solid, very little fats, very little sugars. I like it. It's a good snack to have when you're doing road trips and you need some extra protein. Vegan meats. Okay, now I know there's a hundred different types of vegan meats. We could talk about pepperoni, we could talk about lunch slices, whatever. There's a lot of different vegan meats, but I really just want to give a big shout out to Plant Ranch. They have such good vegan carne asada, pollo asada, and al pastor, and it's so good. I actually had my really good homie Cole Hastings. He tried it like last week, and he couldn't stop raving on my live stream about how good it was because it's literally fire. It's the it's the vegan meat that every non-vegan should try. So you definitely should try it out. They do have like small packs, I think like a pound that's a little bit more expensive, then they have bigger packs that are like five pounds. I literally buy 15 pounds at once, and I just freeze them. Super fire. I get it on veg.co. That's where they have like the wholesale side of things. Real quick, last two. My favorite shoe, vegan shoe. I would say Ani brand has really fire ones and Vivo barefoot shoes are super fire as well. So those are my favorite shoes at the moment. And last thing in this quick fire round, my favorite clothing brand is Jed North. You probably see me wear their stuff a million times. They have like full joggers. They have jean legging, jegging kind of things. They have like capris. They got tanks. They got all that kind of stuff. So anytime you see me wearing clothes in the gym or anything that makes me look buff and juicy, usually Jed North. 
That one I actually do have a discount code. It's all caps Brian15, gets you 15% off. Their stuff's already super cheap in the first place, so you get an extra discount on it, super fire. I'll also put a link in the description below if you wanna check them out. Now, of course, the best part about social media is that you can weigh in with your opinions, and I super want you to. So drop your comments below with your favorite vegan products. Maybe you cover all the categories, or if you just have one of these things that you really, really like, you wanna back me up, put it in the comments, or if you have something that you think is better than what I said, put it in the comments too gonna help other people it builds a community it's a great thing about social media it's a great thing about the vegan community we always want to help each other I think we do a really good job of it so leave those comments below if you enjoyed this video and you want to help me get my videos out to more people and support the channel in a free way give it a big old thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already hit the bell notification so you get updates on when my new videos come out and that is the end of this video I love you guys and I'll see you all in the very next one Give me a Every...